This is Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust today that this will be like a vitamin or a supplement for your mind and heart. And wherever you receive podcasts from, would you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, leave a rating and a written review. It helps the algorithms, moves the podcast up on the list so that when people are looking for particular subjects, this will be toward the top of the list. If you could do that for me, I would really greatly appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by today. I want to talk to you a moment about stop wasting time. Time is the only thing that we really have that we are equal in. Now, I know that all folks are created equal, but all of us have 24 hours in a given day. All the people who are succeeding and all the people who aren't succeeding have the same amount of time. The real effective and efficient and the people who are accomplishing really enormous things do not have a head start because they have 30 hours a day with which to work and the rest of us only 24. They manage the time that's given to them. And unlike money, if you lose it, you can go out and make some more. You cannot go out and create more time. So let's talk about what are some ways that we can harness the time allotted to us and be able to be productive, get things done, still have fun, and still take some of the pressure off of us. The first thing is you have to plan your day. You have to be a proactive person. A reactive person just waits to see what's going to happen, and they kind of muddle through it, going from one emergency to another, and oftentimes they are only emergencies in the eyes of the people who are wanting you to come alongside and help them. So rather than going through your life reactive, a lot of the things that I'll talk about today are really options to help you and I be more proactive in life. And the first is you have to plan your day. I do it a couple of ways. I have a a note-keeping uh, app where I keep things down. I've been using uh, Brendan Bouchard's uh, daily planner, which I have incorporated as a part of my morning and evening routine, as well as blocking time out on my calendar. So regardless of where I am at a sit certain situation, whether I have my phone or a computer, I have the ways of knowing what I'm doing next and, and what I'm doing, all simply because I plan the day. And you really need to either plan the day very, very early in the morning, or preferably for me, I do it the night before. But it will help you not to waste time and fumble around and try to figure out where you are and where you're headed if you would just plan your day. I think the way to stop wasting time is maybe do an audit of how you spend your time. Have you ever tried to break your day down into 15, 20, 30 minute increments and be honest and put down what were you doing during that said period of time? Now, time wasters are not all bad things. Oftentimes, they are, they are okay. It's just if not guarded, they will take an undue amount of time. I'm talking about TV. Frankly, most people in my country watch far too much television. That's why they're angry. That's why they're screaming. That's why their heart palpitates. They, they feed their mind the continual negative message. Now, have I burned all my televisions? No, I have a couple of televisions in my house but I limit and time my watching. And if there's a particular movie, a particular documentary or something I want to see, I usually use it as a reward when I have finished and completed the things that I needed to do. Surfing the internet. The internet's a powerful tool. It's amazing. It's wonderful. And if harnessed and used properly, can really help you and I not waste time and be very efficient. But all of us have kind of come out of a stupor where we realize for the last hour and a half we've been going down one rabbit hole after another by just clicking from one link to the next. Again, be proactive. Limit the amount of time that you're going to be on the internet. 
social media. Nothing wrong with it. As a person who's lived a few places in my lifetime, it is a wonderful tool, and I mean a wonderful tool, for staying connected with people who you once lived in close proximity to. You can wish them a happy birthday. You can check in on them periodically. You can see their children all grown up. So there's wonderful things that are part of it. But all of us spend way too much time uh, with social media. You may be a person that at the water cooler, as they used to say, you love to socialize and talk with people and catch up on gossip and what's the latest that's happening somewhere else. Again, visiting with people, talking with people is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's the fact that you have to have a little more control. And if you don't guard yourself, you become reactive. You just do whatever is right there in, in front of you. And it can end up wasting an unbelievable amount of time. I've only listed a few. You know, there would be hundreds of things that may be a time waster for you. Um, that's not my answer to give. You have to answer that question for yourself. What are the time wasters in your life? And then you just need to guard yourself from that. Um, the third thing that I'm going to say is a little bit of a takeoff from the first thing that I said in planning your day. I have just found that I am much more effective and extremely much more proactive by having a consistent and meaningful morning and evening routine. You can look back through the podcast library. I have uh, an ample amount of podcasts where I explain how to come up with a morning routine, what it looks like, what its purpose is, and how effective I have found it to be. I believe when I really put this into practice, my effectiveness went up exponentially and that I have an evening routine and they really are great bookends to the day. So I'm just going to mention it here and, and move on. And I'm going to reiterate another point that I've made because I want to make sure that you hear it. Make up your mind. You're not going to be a reactive person. You're going to be a proactive person, meaning you know what you need to do. You know what goals and dreams and aspirations you have for yourself. And so you need to set the goals, set the steps that's going to take to get you there, incorporate it into your calendar, work through it, set time, and do it. I would say another way to not waste time is to get energized. I have found that since I put exercise in as a regular part of my daily regimen, I am a more energized person. I used to think and feel guilty when I went to the gym or went on a long walk or did some form of exercise that I really wasn't working and I felt guilty somehow like I was cheating until I remembered that taking care of myself helps me, helps my family, helps the people that I work with and for, and it gets me energized. By taking that time out, it energizes me to use the rest of the time allotted to me that day to be an effective person. So I don't know what it is that um, gets you energized. I'm, I'm not talking about ingesting chemicals. Find something that helps you get energized. If you're a person of faith, your faith should energize. If you have a family, get energized about you're trying to create a better future for your family. And then I think again, you need to orient all this back to your vision statement, what you believe you are here for, and what is your purpose? What's your why? And if you know what your why is, it is a wonderful incentive to not just waste the minutes and the hours. I, I would just give you some quick other little hits here that are important. One is I have found that when I'm really working on something that once I get the momentum going, it is crucial to keep it going for a few moments. And I just put my phone at those times on Do Not Disturb. I turn off all the notifications, the bings, the beepers, the dongs, and I, I just I'm able, I'm one of those that can't work with all of that noise going on. And we've all been trained that when we hear those dings and pings to look at it because, you know, uh, the, the leader of the, of the world could be calling me now asking my advice or someone is giving me an opportunity that may be a once in a lifetime opportunity. I don't know what it is we think is going to be on the other end of a ping, 
But if it breaks your concentration, if it slows down your momentum for getting things accomplished, you need to cease and desist. I, I try when I'm using my laptop for research, I try to use websites rather than apps because for whatever reason, it may just be me, apps are apt to lead me down rabbit trails. And so I, if I'm researching a project, a writing project, something I'm working on, I get on my laptop and just go to the websites and when I'm done, I close the web, that website down. Another thing that I do that helps me uh, with those things that would distract me and waste my time is I make sure that when I'm on my computer working that I've logged out of YouTube, Facebook, uh, those sorts of things, Amazon, whatever it is that's your distracting website. Just, just X out of them, get out of them so that you can focus on the matter at, uh, at uh, hand. There was a time in my life because of the precision I try to live by that I had scheduled something in my calendar for 10 o'clock and I was all done with the projects up to that point, what I had said I was going to do. And it's only 9.40 and I've taken a five minute break and I'm thinking, well, I'll, I'll just check email. I'll check uh, my social media feeds. I have 20 minutes. Listen, if you were going to start at 10 and you're ready at 940, ju just start working. I have found that once I'm in that rally kind of a mode of getting things done, putting my head down, working in my time blocks, rather than breaking that momentum, you, you couldn't foresee yesterday that you would be done with the other things up to this point 20 minutes earlier. Don't sit around and waste 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Just just get started. And the um, I some people will put on headphones or earbuds. Uh, they'll close the doors. Uh, so there are some folks who go to coffee shops. They love that ambient noise in the background. Helps them to focus. Some play classical music. You, you have to wear your own armor. You have to figure out what works for you. But whatever it is that can block out noise and distraction and helps you to focus, uh, I would do that. Some time ago, a friend of mine advised me, uh, especially when I would get up the next day with writer's block for something that I was writing, that he found it was better to kind of end the day before in the middle of a sentence or if he was working on a step for a project to leave that step unfinished, that somehow not knowing what to do the next day is eliminated if there's a half a, if there's a, only a half a sentence and you need to finish it, or you left a, a little action hanging out there. I've tried that. I've had some success. I can't say that it's the greatest thing for me, but, but it has helped. Uh, and whatever it is, you'll find those kinds of what I call productivity hacks and keep uh, doing them. I follow the two-minute rule when I do give my, uh, I'm on the time that it's time to check uh, emails. I do it four times a day. And that is that piece of mail, uh, an, an item. If I can get it done in less than two minutes, there's no point for me rescheduling it later in the day or tomorrow. I take care of it uh, right at that moment. So if it's a quick phone call I need to make, a quick text or a quick email, or just signing some documents, there are all sorts of little things. Rather than rescheduling it, if it takes two minutes or less, do it now. That's a great item to keep you from um, wasting time. Make sure you're doing something you love, because it really is true. If you love what you're doing, uh, you get to walk around with a smile because what most people call work, you're calling your passion and it really helps. Again, time blocking is probably the greatest thing that I do that keeps me from wasting time. It's the Pomodoro technique. And again, if you were to go back into the archives of this podcast, I know I have at least one and perhaps two where I talk about uh, time chunking or time blocking. I use a Pomodoro a timer. You can use a kitchen timer. Um, you know, it's the, it, they, they, they look like a tomato, that's the Pomodoro. But what it is, I use one on my electronic devices. It's on my phone, it's on my laptop, it's on my desktop. And I have mine set anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes, depending on what I'm working on. And it begins to keep the time for me. I have it so that I can click it off, that it's not right on my computer screen. 
but if I look at the top of the computer, I can see how much time I have. At the end of that time, I have a five minute rest period where I take a restroom break or get a cup of coffee or go for a walk or do something that, that I enjoy. The other thing is if it's something worth doing, it's worth being in your calendar. Another way that helps me in not wasting time is I follow the practice of eating the frog first. I try to early in the morning do that which is going to take the most mental concentration and is not something I'm looking forward to. Another thing I'm trying to do in these days is always have something with me for which to take a note because I've wasted a lot of time over the years going back looking for an email, looking for a phone number, looking for an item that someone had given to me, a piece of information, and it's frustrating and a time waster to go looking around for it, what scrap of paper I wrote it on, or what program I jotted it in. I keep the little notebook with me. It's a part of my evening routine to make sure I offload all of that stuff out of my notebook to where it's needed. This is Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom you've been listening to. Today, I'm telling you, don't waste your time. Be effective and efficient. I, this is a podcast on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust today it has been like a vitamin or a supplement for your mind and heart. And wherever you receive podcasts from, would you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom? Leave a rating and a brief written review. Remember, my leadership friend, you are doing better than you think you are. You really are. And until next time, this is Dr. Ron saying have a great and blessed day. 